Quasi told me that the life of an octonaut is really exciting. Oh, it is. As a medic, I... Do you search for sea monsters like Quasi? Uh, well, here, let me show you what I do. I... And Quasi says that an octonaut has to be prepared for anything to happen. That's true. You want to try doing something that I do? I'm ready for anything. All right, then. Here's a real challenge. Bandaging. We'll practice a combination bandage. A flipper sling and a rib wrap. Now you try it. I want to learn how to be an octonaut, not a medic. But I'm an octonaut and a medic. I mean a real octonaut, like Quasi. Ready for action. Oh, I have to be ready for action too, you know, in case someone gets hurt. Quasi! Wait! Is the ship under attack? No, but it is time for lunch. Here you go, matey. Aha! Last one there for your rotten fish egg. <laughs> oh. The Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Captain, what's going on? We've just received a call for help from the Guppy. Captain Barnacle's here. Go ahead, Dashy. Captain, we seem to be stuck. Can you locate us? Uh-oh, Cap. We've lost radio contact. Dashy and Shellington are stuck, and we've got to get them unstuck. Hmm. I wonder what they're stuck in. We'll find out when we get to them, and we need to get to them fast. Can I come too? Oh, please, 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 please. No, it might not be safe. Your big brother's right, Pinto. You better stay here with the Vegemals. <sighs> I'll tell you all about it when we get back. <laughs> hmm. Captain, I've seen marks like this before. Unless I'm very much mistaken, they were made by... My cousin. Your cousin? Yes, my cousin, Irving, the giant squid. Dashy, let's show them my family photos. I've been helping Professor Inkling put his family photos on the computer. That's me and one of my relatives, the blue-ringed octopus. My little cousins, the firefly squid, and that is my distant cousin, the giant squid. That's your cousin? It's the only photo of him I've got, and it's not even a good one. I haven't seen him in a long time. He's enormous. The octopus and the squid are in the same family. I'm small, and he's big, but we're alike in many ways. We both have arms with suckers. Excellent for holding on to things. Aye, that explains how your cousin grabbed the gup, eh? But why would he do it? Well, Cousin Irving may have been trying to ask for help. That's a funny way to ask. Well, I don't think he meant to hurt you. Well, in fact, I think you scared him. Really? Both my cousin and I squirt ink when something scares us, you see. The ink allows us to run away and hide without being seen. Captain. We need to find him and make sure he's all right. Professor, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find Inkling's cousin, the giant squid. Quasi, peso, into the gub. Captain. I don't usually go out on missions, but Irving is family. If he needs help, then I should be there. Let's do this. Oh, the fish biscuits. How nice to have them for the trip. Thank you, Vegemals. Mm. Oh. Oh, nice, yes. Oh. Same after Thursday. 
One more won't hurt. <laughs> Whoa, vegetables. I think that's all the biscuits we have room for. <sighs> Prepare for launch. Yow! Open the octa hatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. <laughs> Be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not. As long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh, that's the patient? Uh -huh. Say ah. Uh. I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashi, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Thank you for inviting us to come home with you to celebrate, Professor Inkling. You're welcome, Peso. And I'm excited to show you the place where I grew up. Dashy? Inkling family photos coming up. There I am with my nephew, Squirt. I can't wait to see him. He looks just like you, Professor. And this is where Squirt lives and where I grew up. The Sea Mount. It looks like a huge mountain. It is. A sea mount is simply an undersea mountain. Exactly, Shellington. Lots of creatures make their homes there, including the Golden Coral. She's 500 years old. 500 years old. That's a lot of Christmases. Oh, she's beautiful. I've never seen coral that colour before. The golden coral grows only on this sea mount. At Christmas, we all gather round her and sing a special song with the Christmas tree worms. Christmas tree worms? Now you're pulling me poor. No, they're real. They live inside holes in rocks and when they pop out, they look like little Christmas trees. Yes! They make Christmas on the Seamount very special. And if we're going to make it there in time for Christmas, then we better get going. Dashy, activate launch. Launch activated, Captain. in time for Christmas. Mm. Hand me another hammer tunip. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Lesson.
listen to that, me hearties. It must be Tweak. I've heard her hammering and drilling all week. Aye. She's working on a top secret Christmas present. I wonder what she's making. I wish I knew, matey, but she won't let anybody down there. We'll just have to wait until Christmas to find out. In the meantime, would you help me wrap a few presents, Peso? Of course. I love wrapping presents. Octonauts, let's get ready for Christmas. The Octopod! I see it, I see it. We're almost there, Mum. Yes, dear. I'm so excited to see my big brother, the Octonaut. I hope they get here soon. Pinto, Mum, you're here. I can't wait to ask Peso about his adventures. And look, Mum, we get to swim through the Octa Hatch. See how it opens. Isn't that cool? Yes, dear. We're here. I hope Peso's waiting for us up in the launch bay. Mum, Pinto. Peso! I'm so happy to see you. Oh, Peso, let me look at you. Are you eating enough and getting enough sleep? Mum. Tell me about your undersea adventures, Peso. How many creatures have you saved? I reckon you're the bravest of all the Octonauts. Oh, that's not true. I'm just... One of the most valuable members of the crew. You should be very proud of Peso. My son, the medic. Thank you so much for taking us to see the Iron Clam race, Captain Barnacles. We all want to see it. I think Hugo's going to win again. Hugo wins the Iron Clam every year. What's the Iron Clam race and who's Hugo? I'll show you. I've got some great video I shot of last year's race. There's Hugo in the sliding event. Whoa, he's fast. He broke the penguin diving record too. He went deeper than any other penguin ever has. And held his breath for more than 20 minutes. Wow, that's a long time even for a penguin. Yow! And he swims almost as fast as the gut bee. No one can beat Hugo. He's so good at everything. Are you ready to watch the Iron Clam, Pinto? I am. Actually, I have a big surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Well, since Hugo wins every year, this year, no other penguin was brave enough to go up against him. Oh, don't tell me they're cancelling the race. They were going to, until your little brother had his brilliant idea. Yep, I saved the race by finding the one penguin brave enough to compete against Hugo. Great. Who? You! <gasps> <sighs> well, it looks like it's just you and me. So, what? Rocco? Where'd he go? Rocco! Quasi! Cannonball! That's what my mum always says. <laughs> <laughs> Let's swap rocks! I want my old rock back. Why? Because it's better. I'm sure the rocks that I gave you were exactly the same. No, my old rock had a brown spot on it and this one doesn't. Let's swap back. No. I'm sure we can work this out. Now flip. Mum, flap! He's flip. Oh, sorry, flap. You mean flip. Yes, floop. I mean fleep. I mean, oh, flappity flippers. <sighs> flap, if you flip over your rock, you'll see it has a brown spot just like flaps. I mean flips. Flappy now. I mean, happy now. Happy! Phew. See that bird up there? Hi, matey. I like to play a little game with him. Watch this. Hey there, you big beaky birdie! You don't scare me! <laughs> See? Now he's coming to get me. Shiver, whiskers. He is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That was close. Rocco, me hearty. You have to be a little more careful. Even in my pirate days, I knew... Where'd he go? Rocco? Quasi! Cannonball! <laughs> I think Captain Barnacles has the easy job today. 
This water is getting rough. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's big. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards... Me! Dashie, sound the Octoroner! Octoroner to the HQ. That's dangerous for the Adeli penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Already on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adeli penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup sea. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. Red urchins destroy kelp roots. They can wipe out an entire kelp forest. Unless there are sea otters around to eat them. Pearl! <laughs> Hello, Shellington. Everybody, this is my sister, Pearl, the sea otter. Oh, hiya. Hi, Hello. Hi. Pearl is a scientist, just like me. She knows practically everything about kelp forests and kelp plants. Actually, kelp isn't a plant at all. It's a type of algae. See? So this is who you wanted us to meet? Uh, not exactly, but I'm sure Pearl can tell us what's wrong with the kelp forest. Ah, uh, yes. I'm afraid I've fallen a bit behind on my urchin duties. Urchin duties? Yes, we sea otters are what's known as a keystone species. The whole kelp forest depends on us to eat the red urchins so they don't destroy it. It's our duty as sea otters. But I've never seen you eat an urchin. Uh, well actually, as it turns out, I'm allergic to urchins. Shellington helps the kelp forest in a different way, as an octonaut. Usually I can keep the urchins under control all by myself, but lately I've been kind of busy with... Well, let me show you. He's right over here. I wrapped him up in kelp so he wouldn't drift away. Everybody, this is Periwinkle. <laughs> this is who I wanted you all to meet. My new nephew. Oh, oh, look at look him. how fuzzy he is. But he's still just a baby, so I spend most of my time feeding him, cleaning him, and teaching him how to find food. Once Per is a little older, he'll be able to dive down to eat red urchins too. As a matter of fact, it's just about time for Perry's first diving lesson. Oh, but I still have to catch up on my urchin duties. Pearl, why don't you and Shellington give Perry his diving lesson and let us clear the urchins out of the kelp forest? Oh, that would be wonderful. Octonauts, let's do this. Come on, Uncle Barnacle. Let's go. All right, cubs. You're about to begin a journey that all polar bears have made for as long as any of us can remember. And we're the only bears in the world who make this journey. So, are you ready to go? Ready! And earn your first Polar Scout badges. <gasps> yes! Then let's get started by climbing that. <sighs> now take it slow. Pull with the front paws. Push with the back paws. Pull. Push. Pull. Push. Got it. Made it. And now we slide down on our tummies like this. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Cubs. Now it's time to use my favorite Polar Scout skill. Hup. Swimming! Follow me, Cubs. Whee! <laughs> use your paws like paddles in the water. Form a line, everyone, and stay close. Ah, there's nothing better than an icy swim. The rest of the crew don't know what they're missing. Tired. Me too. 
We'll find a nice flow soon and take a rest. <gasps> Over there! Hmm, there's a colony of walruses on that ice flow. Walruses are very territorial. They don't like to share their ice flow with anyone. We'll find another ice flow. Come on! <sighs> I'm not afraid of walruses, are you? No! Come on! <sighs> hey! This ice flow is walruses only! Captain, it's been my experience that tentacles untangling tentacles is never a good idea. I'd have to agree. But I could protect these fish. I don't have stinging tentacles, but I do. Hey, <laughs> <a report. laughs>